And here comes Rob Logan. Coming off a great performance at FLA 1 against a very tough Zach Garcia. He came into that fight wanting to test himself and see if he belonged in the game of MMA. A longtime scrapper outside the cage. Finally found a home in FLA. And since FLA won last year, like you mentioned, Joe, he's, he's really dedicated himself. He's, he's dropped some weight. I think he's dropped weight classes coming into this fight. So we could see a whole new Rob Logan in this fight. For sure. Definitely cleaned up some things in his uh, fitness and his uh, diet and nutrition. Looks great. Coming in to put on a show for everyone watching in St. John. And I believe he's from Nova Scotia, so he's got some fans there as well. Training under John Kelly, and his other corner man being Mike Somerville. He looks ready to go. I believe weighed in at 200 pounds yesterday, which is quite a drop from his uh, last weight class. It shows the dedication he put in. He's pumped up. I am the one to watch I am the one to care for all my strength. Wars, I do not care. You hurt us all. You make it so hard, you always want to win. Please believe we care and do understand. And I'm here comes to Thomas Johnson Jr. Representing Victory X. A lot of martial arts experience in Canada and U.S. Splitting his time with Josh Whittall at Sprawl and Brawl. He's been working on his striking quite a bit. And the crowd is pumped for Thomas Johnson Jr. Hasn't fought since 2013. So a good layoff. We'll see what's uh, we'll see what's happening tonight. Yeah, that first fight is a long time ago. You can't really put too much into it. I'm sure he wants to get a win, even out that record. Yeah. A lot can happen in eight years. These are some big boys. Yes, another another exciting uh, another exciting matchup here. Some quality matchmaking on this card. The bosses at FLA know what's going on. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is brought to you by Beat It Sport, and both fighters have weighed in at less than the contracted weight of 205 pounds. Introducing first, in the blue corner, he's a mixed martial artist with a record of zero wins, one loss, representing MXT St. John, Rob Logan! And in the red corner, also with a record of zero wins, one loss, fighting at a victory, X, Thomas Johnson Jr. The referee now has control of the king. The crowd is fired up for this one, Joe. Yes, sir. Let's see what's going to happen, man. Thomas Johnson has his own personal cheering section. For sure. This is exciting. Touch the gloves. He looks focused. Rob Logan looks energized. Just 
speaking of energy, this fight sponsored by Beat It Sport Drink. Thomas Johnson looking to connect his hands on a double leg here and put Rob Logan down. Rob is a very strong man. That's so always Thomas. He's able to break away from the cage for a brief second there, but Thomas Good Johnson puts his back against the cage again. Good knee by Rob there to the midsection of Thomas. And Thomas is a purple belt. So it could possibly be his game plan to drag the fight to the ground early and use his jiu-jitsu. Uh, with a big swing there. Big swings, brother boys. Whoa. These guys are teeing off. Thomas is landing. Thomas landing some big shots. Rob trying to answer back. Thomas is turning up the heat here. Rob's covering up. Rob's going to fire back. Oh, Whoa. big right hand by Rob. Rob's still dangerous. Thomas switching it up to the uppercuts. Thomas Big with a right kick. Hand. Fire and lefts and rights. He staggers Rob. Rob's got to get off the cage here. You can't just absorb this. They will stop it in an amateur fight. He's got to circle off, get his back off the cage. Thomas is looking to land that fight ending shot. Rob's moving pretty good. Minute left. Oh, oh big, big shot, right big hand. right hand. Trying to finish it with an uppercut. Rob has big to be careful. Body shot, another big right. Rob needs to move. He's taking a lot of punishment here. Big oh. uppercut. Rob Logan is as tough as they come. Very tough. Thirty seconds. Thomas is around. He better be careful. He won't swing his arms out. Yeah, you can tell he's maybe holding back a little bit in those exchanges. He wants to save yeah. some gas. Come on. Oh, shoots with a double. Really get the takedown with Thomas. Thomas, Thomas on, on top, top of a 10, 10 seconds, seconds left. left. A lot of action that round. Thomas landed a lot of shots. But Rob had a couple good punches land, but a lot of excitement there early. For sure. Rob needs to get his uh, get his back off that cage and uh, start moving. Yeah, he's got to look to control the center of the the center of the cage. He doesn't want his back against the cage and Thomas Johnson firing off. No, but Thomas, uh, he looked to get a little tired there at the end of the round. He was, his punches were losing a little bit of steam, so we'll see if uh, fitness plays a factor. The yeah. Doctor checking on Rob's nose. Yeah, Thomas landed some heavy, heavy shots. But Rob was able to take them well, and he does, he still looks like he's got some plenty of gas left in the tank, so. Yep. Let's see if Rob can turn it around and really come out strong in the second round. For sure. Rob, trying, Rob getting himself pumped up. We'll see what this minute break did for both gentlemen. Rob looking to get right in his face. Where Thomas is. These boys are swinging. Hard. swinging. Now well, they're talking. Oh. This is a slugfest right now. Rob's got to try to control the center. Yeah, Rob's nose is bleeding. It is busted up. Big oh. right hand landed on Thomas. Thomas is no slouch. He is tough as well. This fight is turning into a war. Nice leg kick by Rob. 
Good left hand. Big right. Oh, these boys are swinging. They are throwing bombs. Another shot lands for Thomas. Rob throwing some combinations now, but these boys are both taking quite a bit of punishment. It may come down to whoever's got a little more nice left break. in the tank. Nice left hook. Thomas definitely not firing off as many punches as he did in the first round, but he's still coming forward. That left hand landed again for Rob, but Thomas keeps coming forward. Oh, oh nice big shot left by Rob. hand. Thomas definitely has a chin too, but so does Rob. Rob's coach is yelling big for right up. Forward. That was an uppercut. Upshoot, actually. Rob's coach is really yelling for him to come forward to try to back Thomas up. Big punches being thrown here. Thomas definitely not throwing as much volume as the first round. Thomas almost seems like he's laying down. 45 seconds left. This is a slugfest, Josh. been a stand-up war so far. I would say Rob is actually being more, uh, if anything, this is Rob's round, this one. Yeah, Rob's building some confidence here. Yeah. A little bit of a shaky start, but yeah. things are starting to go his way. That left hand is landing for Rob. Oh. Oh. Whoa, what a fight. Wow. Last round. I think this might be the, uh, the contender for fight of the night, Josh. Definitely. And much like the other contender for uh, fight of the night, Maria and Abby, this also has been majority spent on the feet. Yes. Thomas is going to have to dig deep here for this third and final round, right. as will Rob. Rob almost seems to be rallying, but Thomas might be fading a little bit. But he could be playing, too. You never know. Yeah, it could come down to cardio. Yeah. Thomas had Rob hurt early, but Rob was able to start to swing the momentum there towards the end of the second round. Yeah. That left hook is Rob's best uh, weapon right now. Yeah, I think you're right. See if Thomas can keep using that jab. Looks he's going to look to back Rob oh, against the cage again. Rob getting pumped up. Here we go. I think Rob's going to go for broke. I think he smells blood. I think so. Oh, what's happening? What a war. Here we Here go. We go. These guys are giving it everything they got. For sure. A lot of hurt in there. Just winging rights and lefts at each other. Oh, big overhand right. Rob really seems to be getting stronger as the fight nice goes Nice leg kick. Big right hand. We're only 40 seconds into the round. Come on. Come on, guys. Here we go. Two minutes left. Oh. This is still anybody's fight. He's swarming them. Rob oh. swarming. This could be it. This could be it. They That's stop it. it. That's it. Rob Logan. TKO for Rob Logan. What a war. What a, a breakout performance. 
by Rob Logan. He was in trouble early. He kept his composure and he rallied back. He withstanded a lot of punishment that first round and came back to rally in the third. So obviously his uh, conditioning work has paid dividends. Heartbreaking loss for, for Thomas Johnson. He showed a lot of heart in there. He had control early on. He was, that first round, they might have stopped that in some places. He was landing big punches. And yeah. I, if this wasn't the uh, Coco main, I think uh, you might see some different things, but. He had three or four shots in that first round that looked like it could have ended it. I know it hurt me, so. <laughs> To his credit, Rob Logan hung on and he comes out to victor. Great sportsmanship between the two fighters. And Rob is pumped. I think he's found a home in this new division. 39 years old. I tell you, you make some fans with fights like that there. Definitely. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for both fighters. First of all, that wasn't a fight, that was a scrap. The winner by TKO at one minute, four seconds of the third round in the blue corner from St. John, New Brunswick, Rob Logan. Rob, yes, sir. how you feeling? Buddy, I'm feeling pretty good. Listen, you were in some real trouble, as far as I could tell, during that first round. What changed? Oh, no, you were in no trouble at all? Pissed me off when he hit me. That's what changed. Well, it must have pissed you off a whole lot, because over and over again, but you, you hung in there and you came back. Tell us, like, where did you see the tide turning? Uh, when I started cracking him, I could tell he didn't like the power. And that was the thing, like, he was, he was getting some good shots on me. I'm not, gonna I'm not gonna shit on that guy. He's got power, man. But I had the speed, and every time he tried to pull, I was getting in before he could, and just went off according to plan. Uh, you, for this camp, you slimmed down quite a bit. Tell us what changed and how you think that improved your performance. I wanted to be a 205er right from the start. I, uh, I signed to fight my last fight as a 205er. The weight got changed. I went up to 215, because I'll just fight anybody. Honestly, man, if I sign, I'll fight. He took the fight at 205. This is the weight I'm supposed to be at. Obviously, I feel good here. The results speak for themselves, man. Tell us about the people who helped you prepare for this. Oh, dude, my camp at MXT. The guys at MXT are crazy. It's the best jujitsu team in, in New Brunswick. I don't give a shit what anybody says. I got guys like Mike Somerville, Corey Pikey, all these guys in my corner. I got the best fighters around backing me up. I can't fail, man. What's next for you? Another one of these. I see there's belts kicking around now. I'm gonna work my way towards a light heavyweight strap. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Rob Redbeard Logan.